Hey everyone, Mello here with a quick tutorial on how to perform a multi-peer multi-asset send using freewallet.io on Counterparty XCP Bitcoin Network. Before we get started today, let me just go ahead and give you a couple of tips. One, make sure you have a little bit of Bitcoin in your wallet to cover the transaction fee. And two, you want to have a uh, notepad, Word doc, Google doc, um, some type of word processor open so that you can type this stuff out before you um, navigate over to your wallet. Um, you'll note that I've already pre-populated this information to try to limit uh, the time on this video. Um, but, but the key uh, takeaways on this is that you want to uh, make sure that you follow this format. You want to have your recipient address listed with a comma, a space, the asset name. Note that the asset name is listed in all caps. This is very important because asset names on, uh, on counterparty are in all caps. And so you want to make sure that you follow that same format. After the asset, comma, space, and the quantity. Um, you can do this for as many transactions as you'd like and again the magic here is really in the savings so um, go ahead and get all your addresses recipient address listed whatever all, whatever information that, that you're, you know however many tokens you're going to be sending get all that information scr uh, scrolled out and then um, uh, get all that information scribed out and then go ahead and copy and paste that information um, into your wallet. Um, so again, copy, we're gonna navigate over to our wallet and what we wanna do is get the send dialog box to pop up. So I'm just gonna click on a random asset here and what I wanna do is right click and then hit send. This is not the actual asset that we're gonna be sending today for whatever reason that dialog box didn't pop up there. But okay, so I'll right click, hit send. I get my dialog box to pop up. It defaults to simple send. That's not what I want because this is not the asset that I'm gonna be sending. What I want is the multi send tab. So I'm gonna click that multi send tab and I'm gonna have a free form text box here that I can go ahead and paste in my information. And again, note the format. You can, one thing I didn't cover is this optional memo field. I'm just trying to keep it simple, guys. You might wanna do the same. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and paste in my recipients, my assets, and my sends in here. Um, before I actually click send, I'm going to double, triple check, make sure I copied everything over. It appears to be correct. I'm going to double check my fees and my priority level. I usually kind of leave this on low and leave about a, a thousand Satoshis in for the fee. And then you go, go ahead and click send. Um, I did a take right before this, so I'm not going to be doing that here today. But after you click send, the dialog box with the transaction confirmation ID will pop up. And if you click that link, it'll take you in the X chain, the blockchain explorer. And you can note that that transaction is here and it'll show your sends. Since some time has passed, about an hour now, um, you know, all of these uh, transactions have been confirmed. Once it is confirmed, you'll note that the status change, changes from unconfirmed to valid. Um, and your send is complete. Um, and that's pretty much it there, guys. I mean, it's, it's uh, very easy. It's not rocket science. Just follow the format, follow the steps. You'll get the hang of it, and you'll be, you know, an MPMA sending pro before you know it. 